Hello everyone, Dr. Ovishek Dhar from Talanta Chemistry class. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss uh, uh, the first chapter of class 12 uh, chemistry, organic chemistry, that is haloalkanes and haloarenes. And uh, from this particular chapter, haloalkanes and haloarenes in each board like CBSC, IEC and West Bengal, uh, in a, each board, in each board's question, there, is, there are some questions uh, from this chapter, haloalkanes and haloarenes. In this video, we are going to solve some previous year questions of IEC exam uh, from this particular chapter, haloalkanes and haloarenes. This is the PYQs of previous year IEC exams. Some PYQs are there, 10 to 12 PYQs we are going to solve through this video. Let's begin with question 1. What it says, uh, write the balanced chemical equation for ethyl chloride treated with alcoholic potassium hydroxide. So, when ethyl chloride reacts with alcoholic potassium hydroxide, question 1, CH3. CH two Cl alcoholic KOH. We have to write down the balanced equation. What happens here is uh, ethylene is formed. Is the elimination reaction happens. So with ethylene, what are the other another side we will get? Another two side products is dehydration will happen. So as dehydration happens, so water will be liberated. And along with KCl will be formed. So in short, I am showing the mechanism here. So from alcoholic KOH, OH minus will take up this hydrogen, this bond will be shifted over there and this Cl leaves as a living group. So ethylene plus water and this Cl is left as Cl minus and in medium K plus is remaining. So K plus and Cl minus will be clubbed to produce KCl. So this is the first answer. Question 1 is done. Next we'll move to question 2. During the course of an SN1 reaction, the intermediate species formed is, this is a very very easy question. SN1 proceeds through carbocation formation and SN2 proceeds through an transition state formation. So carbocation will be the answer. So option A is the correct answer. Next give the balanced equation for the following name reaction is the Varj Fittig. So Varj Fittig is this one. Chlorobenzene will be there. Say halobenzene. So two moles as balanced equation is needed. So you have to take it in two moles. It reacts with two mole of sodium in presence of dry ether and heat and it produces biphenyl along with two mole of NaCl. This is the balanced Warzfitic reaction. Next question four. How can the following conversion be brought about? Chlorobenzene to phenol. It will be done. Chlorobenzene to phenol. Question 4. By Dow process. Chlorobenzene. 6% to 8%. NaOH solution. And it has to be done in drastic condition. As Cl due to double bond character. It is. Uh, bad living group here so high temperature 
and high pressure is needed is around 300 atm pressure and uh, 350 degree celsius temperature so it will produce phenol question 4 is done next we'll move to question 5 what will be the product formed when chlorobenzene is treated with sodium metal in presence of dry ether so this is the same question uh, what has asked, what has been asked in uh, 2016 so this one uh, this is the same question wards fitik so what will be the product chlorobenzene when reacts with sodium in presence of dry ether we will get by phenyl next question 6 the product formed when aniline is warmed with chloroform and caustic potash aniline is warmed with chloroform question 6 aniline means this one chloroform and caustic potash mean potassium hydroxide alcoholic koh this is nothing but carbilamine test so it will produce the corresponding phenyl isocyanide plus kcl plus h2o so phenyl isocyanide will be the answer 6c next question 7 a dash precipitate is obtained on adding iodine and sodium hydroxide to uh, actually uh, this was uh, um fill in the blank shot of question so there are some words which are missing over here a dash precipitate is obtained on adding iodine and sodium hydroxide iodine and sodium hydroxide from there we can guess this is basically speaking about uh, haloform test so iodoform the uh, i mean precipitate will be iodoform and it's a yellow sweet smelling precipitate you can write yellow sweet smelling precipitate is obtained on adding iodine and sodium hydroxide to there will be a compound which will uh, of course contain either ketomethyl group or ch3choh group directly attached to carbon or hydrogen so the compound you have to choose from the uh, you know options the options is missing over here so i am not filling up here write the balanced equation for the preparation of ddt this is also very important equation ddt preparation is basically ccl3cho plus 2 moles of chlorobenzene are needed when reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid their heat it produces this compound this is named as ddt along with water so question 7 is done next question 8 no sorry question 8 is done this was question 8 basically next we'll move to question 9 correct the following statement when acetone is treated with bleaching powder acetaldehyde is obtained no when acetone is treated with bleaching powder chloroform is obtained that will be the answer because uh, acetone ch3coch3 bleaching powder is C A O C L C L. How is it formed? C A O C L C L is an unstable compound. It dissociates in the medium uh, to its original starting material, that is calcium hydroxide and chlorine. Calcium hydroxide is a base, moderate base, not that strong, and is a halogen. And keto methyl group is attached there, so it will obviously respond to haloform test. So that's why C H C L three chloroform. will be the answer along with we'll get the calcium salt of the corresponding compound the ch3co whole to ca these two products will be formed 
नेक्स्ट विल मूव टू क्वेश्चन टेन राइट द केमिकल इक्वेशन फॉर द फॉलोइंग रिएक्शन एसिटोन विथ सोडियम हाइपो आयोडाइट दिस वन इज एसिटोन सोडियम हाइपो आयोडाइट इज एन ए ओ आई इट बेसिकली डिसोसिएट्स इन मीडियम टू प्रोड्यूस एन एच प्लस आई टू सो दिस वन दिस इज अगेन टेक पार्ट टू हेलोफॉर्म टेस्ट हियर आयोडोफॉर्म विल बी फॉर्म्ड येलो स्वीट स्मेलिंग क्रिस्टल एज वेल एज द सोडियम सॉल्ट ऑफ करस्पॉन्डिंग कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड विल बी ऑप्टेंड सो दीज टू प्रोडक्ट्स विल बी फॉर्म क्वेश्चन टेन इज डन सो नेक्स्ट अनादर टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन वी विल डिस्कस हियर क्वेश्चन इलेवन हाउ विल यू कन्वर्ट द फॉलोइंग फर्स्ट वन कन्वर्ट क्लोरोबेन्जिन टू बाई फिनाइल दिस इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ आई एस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो हाउ विल यू डू दैट इज वेरी सिंपल वीटिक रिएक्शन सोडियम ड्राई थर एंड इट विल प्रोड्यूस बाई फिनाइल नेक्स्ट प्रोपीन दिस वॉज क्वेश्चन ए क्वेश्चन बी वॉज अगेन कन्वर्शन फ्रॉम प्रोपीन टू वन ब्रोमो प्रोपेन सो दिस वन इज प्रोपीन सी एच थ्री सी एच डबल बॉन्ड सी एच टू वेन इट रिएक्ट्स विथ एच बी आर इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ हाइड्रोजन प्रोडक्साइड इट विल प्रोड्यूस एंटी मार्कोनिक ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एंड दिस वन इज नथिंग बट वन ब्रोमो प्रोपेन सॉरी दिस विल बी वन ब्रोमो प्रोपेन नॉट वन ब्रोमो प्रोपीन प्रोपीन टू वन ब्रोमो प्रोपेन दिस इज वन ब्रोमो प्रोपेन एंड दिस वन इज प्रोपीन नेक्स्ट अनदर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन ट्वेल्व कन्वर्ट कन्वर्ट मिथाइल क्लोराइड टू एसिटोन दिस वॉज आस्ट इन आई एस सी टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सो मिथाइल क्लोराइड is being treated with magnesium in presence of dry ether to produce grignard reagent ch3mgcl next it is react ch3 <coughs> ccn so it will produce then ch3 c ch3 double bond n mgcl and then it undergoes hydrolysis to form ch3 c double bond o ch3 this question i mean these part particularly this part it belongs to the preparation of aldehyde and ketone so uh, maybe you have not read this in uh, haloalkane and haloalkene uh, haloarene but in the later <coughs> chapters like uh, you know aldehydes and ketones carbonyl compounds preparation you will definitely learn this method by using the cyanide we are getting aldehyde or ketone so <clears throat> question 12 is done and uh, next uh, question 13 uh write down the balanced chemical equation 
uh, it was asking IAC 2012 as well as 2007 C387 NH2 plus chloroform plus <coughs> 3KOH alcoholic and heat what will be the product balanced you have to write down so this is carbilamine test so we will get the corresponding isocyanide C3H7 NC along with 3 moles of KCl and 3 moles of water so this is the balanced equation so that's all for today i think these 13 questions uh, are enough to give you an overall idea about the is question paper in reality which type of question what type of question is asked in the exam and accordingly whether you are in the proper track of your organic reading of organic preparation for your board exam you can <clears throat> easily justify and understand from these uh, video lectures uh, so hopefully you have liked it uh, and if you uh, you have if you think that you have been benefited from this video don't hesitate to share like and if you are new in this channel uh, please subscribe our channel to get updated videos in four subjects physics chemistry maths and biology regularly thank you for watching